Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have put together a holiday gift guide, more specifically 10 products that I would personally really like to get. <laughs> Basically I put together a list of products that if I were to receive them as gifts, I would be very thrilled. And in turn, I think a lot of you guys would feel the same and the people in your life as well. I had a lot of different categories as well. We have some home stuff, beauty things, dental hygiene. <laughs> There's a lot. I also pulled from different price ranges as well. Today's video is also in partnership with Idol. They are an amazing, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous jewelry brand. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of my favorite pieces from them. Jewelry is obviously one of the most classic gifts that you can get somebody. And so I wanted to show you guys some pieces from them that I have been absolutely obsessed with that I think would make I mean, the most unreal gift really. But I hope you guys are gonna enjoy. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be getting, the people in your life. I'm sure a lot of other people would love to get inspiration from the comment section. So definitely leave down below if you want to. We promise we won't tell the people in your life. <laughs> Hit the thumbs up button if you do enjoy today's video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And let's get started. So when I was putting this list together, this was the very first thing that I knew I had to include in this list. Candles are probably one of the best gifts that you can give somebody because what better to give somebody the gift of just a great smelling house. And not only that, when you give somebody a candle, when they light it and they smell it, they are going to think of you. Not in a weird way, but in a nice sentimental way. There are so many great candle companies that I'm a big fan of. Iretto makes gorgeous luxe candles. The new Sevon makes beautiful candles. And Mallow the Brand. Mallow the Brand is an awesome small business. They're based out of Vancouver. They're women owned. They have some of my favorite candles that I have in my house. I think I have almost every single one that they released. This guy over here, Cereal, burns in the background of my videos almost every single video that I make. And so this holiday season, they came out with this little set called Six Days of Mala. And this is a genius set for somebody who loves candles. It's technically an advent calendar, but you don't really have to use it as like an advent calendar. You can just use it as a candle gift set. When you open it up, you have six different boxes and inside each box you have a candle, obviously. <laughs> the actual size of the candles are fantastic. Like this is a chunky size. It is 4.3 ounces, which is a really nice size. This will last you a really long time and you get six of them in here. So let me just share with you the candles that you do get in here. The one that I just pulled out is a cereal. I'm so happy that they included this one. It's one of my favorites, or if not my favorite, from the brand. It smells literally like Fruit Loops and it's so nostalgic and amazing and every time I light it, it just makes me happy. Then we have Eggnog Latte, which is part of their holiday collection. It smells very sweet and delicious. Then we got Mistletoe, which has that nice like Christmassy pine smell. Chocolate Orange, which is probably my favorite from their holiday collection. This smells incredible. Rosebud, which is part of their core collection. This is another one of my favorites. And then last but not least, we have Candy Cane, which is very nice and pepperminty. And so with all these six candles, Candles, you're pretty much set for like almost the entire year depending on how much you burn candles if I got this as a gift I mean I would be thrilled I would jump with joy <laughs> so the next gift on the list is a pair of headphones now I basically did all of the research for you <laughs> I got these maybe about a month and a half ago. And it was after I did a whole lot of research because I didn't want to get the Apple AirPod Pro Maxes because while they're great, they're super, super expensive. And I wanted something that was just as good, but not that price. And so after doing a whole lot of research, it seemed that the general consensus from a lot of different people were that these Sony headphones, they're called the XM5s, are some of the best headphones on the market. And they kind of rival, in a lot of ways, the Apple AirPods Pro Maxes. This is obviously a pricier gift, but if you're looking for something within this price range, especially if they're for somebody who commutes a lot, these are amazing because the noise canceling on these are fantastic. They're also super comfortable. They're very foamy, so they just fit very comfortably on the head. And they're also super nice looking. I got them in the stone cream color. They also have them in black and they just look really good, fab. And a little tip, the version below this, so the XM4, are pretty much just as good as the XM5, but you are able to get them at a bit of a cheaper price. If you want to get somebody a really nice gift, gift of music, 
These are fantastic. Now let's talk idol. So like I said, jewelry is one of the most classic gifts that you can get somebody, especially over the holiday season. And it's also the most like sentimental and beautiful things that you can give somebody. So a couple fun facts about the brand. All of their diamonds are actually lab grown, which is the more sustainable option. All of their gold is also solid gold. And you could really just feel the quality of their pieces. When I first got the pieces, especially the diamonds, I was like, wow, these are sparkly as can be. I was so, so, so so, so impressed with how beautiful everything was. And what's really cool about Idol is that a lot of their pieces are actually modular. So you get the base piece, which would be a stud, and then you can pair that base piece with various add-ons to create different types of looks. And I love that because you're able to get more than one look with just one piece. And you could also mix other studs that you may have in your collection with the add-on pieces to give like various looks. Like if you had colored gemstones or you had just like plain gold or silver or whatever it is, that you have in your collection already, you can add that to your new pieces to give them a brand new look, which I just think is, is such a cool idea. So I have one, two, three, four pieces from Idol that I'm wearing right now. The power cuff is probably my favorite piece that I got from them. This actually just cuffs onto the ear, so there is no piercing necessary, which is so nice because all of my piercings up on top have actually completely closed. So it's really nice to be able to have something sparkly on this half of my ear without needing to have a piercing there. And then on my lobe, I have diamond studs paired with the Audrey. And then in my second hole, I have another diamond stud paired with the Lou add-on. And it's so pretty, it has like this little dangly diamond. And then for my necklace, I'm wearing one of their gold initial necklaces. And it has like this really pretty little diamond just dangling right next to it. I feel like an initial necklace specifically is a really beautiful personalized gift for somebody. And it's quite simple, but with that little diamond, it's it has a nice impact. So those are all of my pieces from Idol. If you guys wanna check out any of them or anything else that Idol has, I will have that linked down below. All right, now let's talk coffee and tea. This is actually one of my favorite gifts to give people, and it's this fellow kettle. I feel like I've spoken about this so many times in my channel. It's probably one of my favorite things that I have in my home. I love it for so many reasons. First of all, the aesthetic. It has a brushed white matte finish, so it has this really nice clean look to it that really goes nicely with the rest of my kitchen and I like that it's not glossy so it doesn't get any fingerprints. More importantly, what's really cool about this kettle is that you can actually adjust the temperature that you want it to go to and it will heat up to that exact temperature and keep it there. And it's just so convenient and it does it so, so, so quickly. And I do it every single morning. I heat up my water to 180 degrees and I use it with my matcha. It's hard to find like really aesthetically pleasing kitchenware that also functions really well and the fellow products are just so good. And then on top of that, if you have somebody in your life who loves coffee, the fellow grinder. Again, so hard to find a coffee bean grinder that is actually cute, um, almost impossible. This is probably the only one that I've ever found that actually looks really, really nice on my countertop. Like I don't wanna hide this, it looks so good. And it does a great job at grinding coffee beans. So let's dive into some beauty stuff. So let's say you have somebody in your life who's a beauty lover. I think one thing that you could do that is a really nice way to kind of elevate their routine for them is to elevate their daily staples. Everybody uses a lip balm and everybody uses a hand cream. And those more luxurious lip balms and hand creams, while they're not necessary, they're still a nice little luxury to have in, in a daily routine. So I think it's a really nice thing to do for somebody who wouldn't normally splurge on themselves in that way and get them more of like a bougie luxe hand cream and lip balm. And if you want an example, these are the two that came to mind first. They are both from Grown Alchemist. This is the lip balm and this is the hand cream. The smell of this lip balm, by the way, to put it lightly, it's pretty unreal. It smells like watermelon and vanilla. It also smells very nostalgic. So it's such a joy to put on the lips and it also works really well. And then the hand cream kind of has this citrusy orange spa-like scent to it. And they also look really cool as a little set. So getting somebody, you know, like a little bit of a bougier lip balm and hand cream for their daily use is a really beautiful present. Staying within the beauty category, if you have somebody in your life, you know it kind of needs a bit of an upgrade when it comes to their hair tools, this straightener, is one of my faves. I recently got this during the Sephora holiday sale and I have been loving it. Probably one of my favorite straighteners I've tried. I find it's just really effective and does a really good job. It's great at straightening, but I really like this especially to make waves and curls because it has a little bit of a curve to it. So it just makes making curls a little bit more, what's the word? 
intuitive. I don't know. It just makes it a little bit easier. The size of it is also really great. I love that it's a little bit skinnier. So you're really able to get like at the root and those little tiny baby hairs. And even if it's not a strainer, like getting somebody a waiver or a blow dry brush or a curling iron or hot rollers, that's always just a fun gift to receive. I was debating of whether or not I should include this, but I still stand by that. I really feel like this is a wonderful gift. <laughs> it's a toothbrush, but no, it's not just any toothbrush. It is an electric toothbrush and this is called the Bruche. I've always used electric toothbrushes. The Bruche is a really great brand. There's a ton out there, but I like Bruche because you're kind of able to play with the way it looks. You can get really fun colors and I don't know. It's, it's fun to get a fun looking toothbrush. Electric toothbrushes are honestly game changers. They make your teeth so much cleaner than just using a manual toothbrush. And while it's not a necessity, it's a nice to have product and it's not something that everybody you know w would think to go out and buy for themselves and so it's nice to out <laughs> get it for them as as a little gift dads are so hard to purchase for and i think an electric toothbrush is honestly a pretty solid gift speaking of little devices um these guys are definitely up there as far as great devices to buy somebody if you have a skincare junkie in your life besides um perhaps stocking them up on some of their favorite products. I think that getting them some type of skincare device is a really, really cool gift. I really love these guys from Foreo. They are both from the Luna range. This is the mini and this is the full size. They have silicone brush heads, so they're super easy to clean. They pulsate, so you just turn them on. They give you a nice face massage. It makes cleaning the face a bit more of a luxurious experience. And it just does a really great job of actually making your skin feel so much cleaner than if you were to go in manually. I use these every single day, morning and night. I love them. So this next gift I'm pretty excited about. I think this is one of my favorites. So this is called the Everlasting Candle. And this is honestly a game changer if you have somebody in your life who loves to light candles in their home. So this is basically a candlestick with no wax. And the way that this works is it sits in oil and the oil gets absorbed through the candlestick and through science, <laughs> that's how you're able to light the sticks and they stay lit. And the reason why they're called everlasting candles is because they will last pretty much forever as long as there's oil in their little jar. There's no scent that emits off of them or anything like that. It's purely just for beautiful decoration. And it's really nice, especially in a dining room when you don't want to use wax candles because they get really messy and they drip. They also come in a bunch of different finishes. I have the gold ones, but I've seen them in silver. I've seen them in black. They have different style um, jars so you can really get it personalized for that specific person but I just think that this is such a beautiful beautiful gift for the home so we made it to number 10 and the last thing that I feel is probably one of the most universal <laughs> gifts are notepads who doesn't love a good notepad whether you're using it to jot down notes or just as a brain dump or to write down a grocery list or to-do list Everybody uses a notepad for something. And there's so many different kinds of notepads out there that are really cute, that are really beautiful, that can be kind of personalized. And I did want to specifically mention my notepads for my stationery shop because obviously I'm biased and I do think that they are adorable. These are from my stationery shop, Jamie Page Doodles. And I have a bunch of different kinds. So I have my grid collection, and this is really great for really anything, whether that's like creating a to-do list or jotting down notes, it's, it's blank. So you're able to do what you want with this notepad, but it does have very, very light grids, which I do really like because then it keeps everything straight. And each one has a cute little doodle. Um, this one says you're the icing on the cake. There's little cherry guys on this one. And this one says you're doing great cupcake. <laughs> so cute. I also have a little grocery list doodle pad here. So this has a bunch of lines and check boxes so that you can write your grocery list and check it off one by one. This one I call my to-do list doodle pad. It's I specifically made it for to-do lists. So it's really nice and skinny and compact and you have um, check boxes and lines to create your to-do list. And then there's a little ghost peeking out on the side over here. This was from my Halloween collection. And yeah, I just have like a bunch of different kinds from my shop in particular, but honestly, not even just from my shop, from anywhere, I think notepads are just a really great gift. You can even combine that notepad with other stationary-esque things, like a really nice pen or even some stickers to create like a fun personalized little gift package. And that finishes off my gift guide. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Once again, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. Hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next one.